Hey y'all, it's your girl Kiki and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use TubeBuddy to get more views on YouTube. Views are so important. I think we a lot of times discount just how important views are to the success of your channel. Views are even more important than subscribers, than comments. Literally, views are the most important thing on YouTube behind watch time, but you can't really get watch time if you're not getting views. So today I'm going to show you how you can use TubeBuddy to get more views on YouTube. A lot of you guys create amazing content. You have great personalities, and if people were able to find your channel, they would literally like fall in love. But because you're not creating searchable content, it's really, really hard for people to find your channel. So today I'm going to kind of help you guys with creating a little bit more searchable content, creating searchable content and help you get people to find your channel. All right, I'm here for you, giving you the keys, the answers to the test. But I'm going to show you guys how to use TubeBuddy to get more views and to tag your videos and to find titles for your videos and to even kind of come up with some really searchable exciting video ideas. So for one, I'll talk about TubeBuddy really quick. TubeBuddy is basically like a, I'll say buddy. It assists you in being a YouTuber. It tells you a lot. You can spy on people's channels. You can search keywords. You can search tags. It'll help you come up with tags. TubeBuddy is free, but they have a lot of like paid memberships. I, when I first got TubeBuddy, I got the free version. I recommend that you get the free version first. Try out the free version. See if you like it. See if it's something that's useful for you. And after you get the free version, then you can decide to get the paid version. But yeah, if you want to check out TubeBuddy, use my link in the description. Let me get to it. Okay, new screen recording. Hey, hey guys. So I'm screen recording on my laptop, and I'm just kind of showing you the process I go through when I'm creating, like, titles tags and a description for my videos so y'all know i love fashion nova so i'm just going to use this as an example you can use these tips for any type of video like if it's a sneaker video if it's a gaming video it's not like all inclusive to fashion nova but i'm or fashion videos but i'm just using this as an example so the first thing i typically do is go to my search bar and i type in kind of what I think the video should be titled in my head. Like in my mind, what I imagine the video should be titled, I type it in the YouTube search bar. And you can see like all the things I was searching for, my favorite YouTubers. So I just type in Fashion Nova Hall. And so when I type in Fashion Nova Hall, you can see all of the kind of search results that come up for me. And this is kind of where TubeBuddy comes into play. So this is TubeBuddy on the side. So if you don't have TubeBuddy, this would not come up for you. And so here on TubeBuddy, um, we really talk about supply and demand. When it comes to creating a really searchable video, we ultimately want to find something where the demand is extremely high, which means a lot of people are searching for it. A lot of people want to watch videos on it. When it comes to saying search volume, that is the demand. How many people are searching Fashion Nova Hall? And then the competition is the supply. How many people have created Fashion Nova Hall videos? So basically TubeBuddy does their own calculation and they're telling me that this video is poor. If I create this video, my chances of ranking and my chances of being more searchable are very, very poor is essentially what it's telling me. It's telling me the search volume's high, but it's telling me the competition is even higher. And so another feature of TubeBuddy is you can click keyword stats. And keyword stats will kind of tell you a little bit more about the keyword, which I really, really love. The most views that this keyword phrase received and then the least views that this keyword phrase received. Um, and then it also tells you the most subscribers. Dang, can I get that many subscribers? Okay. And then it tells you the least amount of subscribers. So it's almost like I like this because it tells you kind of like a point of entry. So you can see that the vid the video that was able to rank um, on this keyword, the per like the lowest person had 58 subscribers. So if you have over 58 subscribers, you are kind of like already in this category, already in this ball game. You can definitely like 
it's just something to look at. It's really not valid because ultimately it's going to be up to the quality of your video, but it's just something I keep into consideration. These videos are kind of created. There's a huge gap between 58 and 19 million. Also a huge, huge thing is when we're creating our keyword phrase. Um, so right now my keyword phrase is Fashion Nova Hall, but we're going to optimize it and we're going to create one that's going to be a lot more searchable. We want to ensure that whatever phrase we choose is not only in our title, but it's in our description and our tags. And that's super, super important because YouTube is not actually watching our videos. They want to watch our videos. They love us and they care about us, but they're not watching our videos. They have to try and figure out what our video is actually about. If you have your keyword in the title, description, and tag, it really kind of reinforces to YouTube that you actually know what you're talking about. Your video is actually what you say it's about and it will help you rank. Okay, so another really cool feature about TubeBuddy is when you go back to the keyword score area, you can hit click here for weighted. So essentially the keyword score they're giving us is unweighted. And that basically means this is, if anybody made that video, this is what TubeBuddy predicts. This is what like how TubeBuddy predicts they will do on the video. But if you click weighted, it will look at your particular channel and see how likely your channel is going to do well in the video. So you can see my channel weighted um, is poor, unweighted is poor. It's really not a huge difference. So basically this would not be a good keyword phrase for me to use. So you also can go down here to the score analysis and you see that there are 3.5 million videos in this Fashion Nova haul category. And so, like I mentioned, the search volume is super high, but the competition is way higher. So, 3.5, competing with 3.5 million videos, it's not going to be looking good for you that you're going to rank. So, the cool thing about TubeBuddy is they'll show you some related topics. Some other things that you could use as a keyword phrase that you're more likely to rank on. And so... Let's just click Fashion Nova Hall 2019. So Fashion Nova Hall 2019, it's still saying it's poor, but you can see the search volume dropped from 3 million to 700,000. So 700,000 is still a lot, but it's a lot less than 3 million. And you're a lot more likely to rank for 700,000 than 3 million but I would wanna get that number even smaller. So I continue to look on the side for TubeBuddy and I'll do Fashion Nova Hall 2019 dresses. And so you see, again, that number drops from 700,000 to 400,000. So, and you can also see here, the weighted, it went from being poor to fair. So that's something that we definitely can continue to explore. So let's see what else I'll explore. Let's say I say petite. So petite, the search, petite is actually really great. To me, the search volume is only 19,000. So we've really, really significantly dropped that number from if we were to just title our video Fashion Nova Hall, we had a competition of 6 million. But if we title Fashion Nova Hall 2019 petite, we are able to have a competition of 19,000, which is a lot less. So obviously you would find tags that are related to your video and you would create a search term related to your video, but this is kind of just a way to look at it. And this is kind of where TubeBuddy comes into like the pricing. If you have the free version, like it will just show you like the first two, but if you have the paid version, then it gives you uh, more um, options. So I'm going to do, I'm going to change my title to dresses just because I'm going to change my title to dresses just because um, I don't know if my stuff's necessarily, actually I'm going to do the petite. I'm going to do the petite. I don't think my stuff's necessarily petite, but I'm going to do it. I mean, I can, I'll, I can get away with that. I'm basically going to go to my video now, my fashion overhaul, because I created one. And I challenge each and every one of you to take a video that you have that uh, 
may or may not have a lot of views but you think is a quality video and use these steps to kind of optimize the title okay so we changed the title and now we are going to change the description so like i mentioned you just want to make sure your title and description match i'm gonna leave this just because like i said your description is really a chance for youtube to kind of find out um what your video is about so i'm gonna say in this video do a fashion nova uh -huh, 2019 petite um and then the rest of my description is the same so yeah comment sunnies so yeah i'm just gonna save that and then we can go to tags so as you can see all these tags i'm not ranking on just to give you an example of what it looks like with your two buddy extension on ranking on tags uh for example i'm pretty sure i'm ranking on something on this video yeah so you can see this video this walmart haul i'm ranking on all these tags walmart try on haul walmart clothing haul walmart lookbook so i'm ranking on all of these tags so these are good they're fresh they're popping but this fashion nova haul i'm not ranking and that's not okay because this needs to be ranking on each and every one of her videos okay you see sis like ranking like you got to be ranking somewhere like you can't just be ranking nowhere or the videos are waste okay <laughs> but let me stop but uh yeah so back to the fashion nova video so basically what i'm gonna do is go back here and i'm gonna type in the petite which we can see is something that's search so i'm just gonna click the first person and i'm gonna like her video because i'm a supporter you know and this is um actually really cool to see she has 500 subscribers and 6,000 views so clearly like i said this is like you know popping but her tags to me aren't good, so I'm just going to leave her video. A lot of people don't know how to do tags, so it, a lot of times you'll look on people's videos and you're like, no, sis, like, what did you, what were you thinking? Like, no. And even you see here, TubeBuddy is saying this is very good. This is very good. They're telling me very, very good, sis. Do that. So she actually has some decent tags. So let's see, Fashion Nova, Black Women. That I fall into that category, but it's poor so no um let's see fashion nova skinny girl try on haul and like i'm saying I, this is you can do it for whatever you feel um it's saying good so copy this is getting added so i'm just gonna get rid of all these trash tags that are not that i'm not ranking for like no thank you like this is not okay get out of here sis bye 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 see you wouldn't want to be yeah um also i forgot to do this but the first tag should always be your title because like i said title tags and description so i'm just gonna have to do that title tag and description should always be the same so the first thing should always be your title and then we go from there so that works thanks sis for the tag i appreciate you fashion nova cardi b let's see what that's ranking and Honestly, you don't want to do tags that are not related to your video because you will get caught up because if you do end up ranking for that, you won't rank for long because people will watch your video, realize it's a scam, it's a clickbait, it's not what they clicked for and end up leaving. So you want to make sure that your tags are somewhat accurate. So let's see, Fashion Nova Dress Haul. I think we've seen that. Yeah, it said poor. Okay. But let's see, there's also more here. Like I said, two buddies. So I'm just going to go with the skinny thing. Like I said, I'm not saying I'm skinny. I'm just using this for search engine reasons. So don't come for me or anything. Also, I see she did it. So this is a good time to bring this up. But um, you should always tag yourself in your video because you want to ensure that your ranking for your videos if someone types in kiki holly then my channel needs to come up it doesn't need to be somebody else's random channel okay next video so we're back in the search and i normally just see the people that are ranking she's cute yes yeah, 
you are cute. She's saying a lot of cheap. Let's see if let's see if this works. Cheap clothes online. Not that I, Fashion Nova is cheap though. Like that would be lying because I feel like Fashion Nova is expensive. Uh, Fashion Nova haul. Huh? Can we get petite sizes? I feel like me and her are like the same size. I'm not trying to fast forward. I'm just trying to see her shape. She's just short, but we're like the same body type maybe i might be like a little skinnier so that makes me feel a little better about that but let's see fashion over try on home okay okay fashion over try on home is fair oh but this has such a high so no i'm not gonna do that let's see fashion over try on haul 2019 and honestly this does take a lot of time guys like this takes time like you see this video could be 30 minutes just me going through doing this so keep that in mind. You can't do this for every video necessarily, especially if you're posting like every day. But when you have time, like take the time to sit there and optimize your videos. Yeah, so it's kind of hard for me to do this for every single video, but it definitely does help. Like I mentioned, I took a video that had, no, like I literally didn't have tags, didn't have title, didn't have a description, and now it has like over 4,000 views. Which is not a lot, but it went from like seven to four thousand. So like clearly something went right. So yeah, it just definitely takes time. This is kind of why TubeBuddy is helpful because another thing when you're here, um, TubeBuddy will recommend stuff. So sometimes when I'm lazy and I don't kind of have the energy to search stuff, I will just go here on TubeBuddy and just like start clicking stuff. Like I'll just be like, okay 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 like i'll just start adding stuff like that oh sis is already ah, sis is already ranking y'all y'all i'm already ranking and it hasn't even i'm not even done recording the video see i went from not ranking to ranking this is real this is already ranking yeah this is this is popping so yeah like i said it definitely can take time to sit there and see what tags are actually worth it like it's worth it i just go video to video and see these tags like i said um two by this is where the free version comes in like the free version will always show you the tags so that's cool the pay version just kind of helps when you're lazy and like you just want to make sure you have some tags so i just start plus 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 so wow so this is i can't believe i just ranked like that with the quickness and like i said this is i will say this tags are not the end all be all like as you can see this girl has two million views and her tag situation is not okay her tag situation is not the best but she does have a good title and description but so know that tags are not the end all be all but they definitely help with your videos i use tubebuddy to essentially know if a video is going to get views or not um, like i said it's the whole supply and demand Thing. Uh, for example, um, I was looking at this video. It's going to the works to review makeup artists in my city. But here, this is how I know if I'm going to get views on a video. When it says least views, it is basically saying the least views in this category is 9,000 views. And it's also saying the least subscribers in this category is 345 subscribers. So this is basically telling me that somebody with 345 subscribers got at least 9,000 views. This is this is basically what I do. If it if least views is a high number, and like I said, to you 9,000 views might not be a lot, but to me it is. If the least views is a number that's high to me, then I'm like, okay, that's a video I need to make. That's something that will get me views. I hope that was helpful. I hope I was able to explain like some things. Yeah, so those are my tips to using TubeBuddy to get more views. I know for a fact you guys can get views. I know you guys are so talented and amazing and you create the best content. But in order for people to find your content, you have to be searchable. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Subscribe! I'm so exhausted. Do you guys film in the middle of the night? I feel like my best videos were filmed in the middle of the night. Like, I don't know. All right, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.